Waste management practices are not uniform among countries, developing nations, regions, urban or rural areas, and residential and industrial sectors can all take different approaches. Uh, the, way does, the way waste is being thrown in the Portacord is not really good. At least the government should do something that it will, it will at least, it's just in the environment. If you check it, it's not good for the health. They can put it in a sack bag and those being is not good being seen on a public place like this, on a broader light, in a, as in being open. They should at least make it that, create a platform whereby they should immediately drop it, they take it off. Maybe throw it in the, in the cool evening, then they pack it up very early in the morning. It's not good like this. Or they put it in a sack bag or in a, in a nylon bag and they just drop it. But it shouldn't be seen on a broad daylight like this. You see as it is now, it's very bad and to, very poisonous to the health. Unfortunately today, what we are seeing on, in the area of waste management is, is alarming. As in, it is very, very, very heart paining. Like you can see, look around, you will see exactly what we are talking about. It's very, very wrong the way people today manage their waste. You know, man waste management has been the problem of river states. And as a result, it has, a lot, it, cost, it has caused a lot of things, damages, it has caused harms, and this is now, like, like what we are saying now, like this waste management here, we have how we are supposed to manage it. The waste we, we generate from our homes should be properly managed. Not like what we are seeing now. You just, as I, let me say for instance, when there is rain, you see people, they just put, dispose their waste inside uh, the drainage, they are, they are around uh, surroundings, and by this time, you know, maybe rain will come and channel it inside the, this thing, which will not lead to flooding. So what we are, Say, telling our people today is they should learn how to manage our waste from our home. How? They should bag it from their home, they should bag the waste and keep it them at the time they, that is appropriate for the, the government has said, which is six in the evening, they can now go to the uh, designated place where they normally dump the waste. And by so doing, that, that will reduce this uh, unsightliness we see around our city, which has changed the garden city we normally used to be called into a garbage city. A large portion of waste management practices deal with municipal solid waste, MSW, which is the bulk of waste that is created by households, industries and commercial activities. But in the city of Potaka, that's not the case, as waste is thrown anywhere at any time, with residents hoping the authorities would do their jobs and return the city to its status as the Garden City. Uh, my advice to them is, well, wherever they are facing challenges, they should try to talk to the government to help them out. Because being, living it like this, a lot of people will be infected, and it can easily afflict people with some kind of diseases. You get malaria so easily around Port Harcourt, and within this area, that is one of the common sickness you can get. So, my advice to them, if they are having challenges, or maybe they are, they are, they are people working, to them, working for them is not enough, they should employ more people and make sure that Port Harcourt returns to the garden city we, we, we claim to be, because it's very bad like this. So my advice to them is, if they, are, if they have a challenge, that they know that they are not meeting up again, they should run back to the government to at least help them out. That's my advice to them. They, 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 we have Rewama, which is the real estate waste management agency, just not far from us here. Like, their responsibility today, in one way or the other, is, is not met. And what we are praying, we are crying that the, waste, the River State Waste Management Agency, which is Rewama, should wake up, should rise up to their responsibilities. They should inculcate agencies like we have the uh, environmental health, uh, this thing, uh, body, other body, that is private bodies, like the one I'm working with. Then you can also talk of individuals. There are some individuals that are good, that, that are professionals in this. Inculcate them, make them, let them have, let there be this, uh, uh, this thing, enforcement agency that will monitor the way people manage their waste and the way people just dump their waste anyhow. Like 
like what we are seeing today in the area of uh, traffic, street trading that the governor has just constituted, exactly that can be done also in the area of waste management, where task force will be, uh, will be involved to monitor the way people dumped their waste. And by so doing, it will bring back the garden city nature of these states. Refuse disposal is one of the major environmental problems that developing countries have faced with. Health hazards, traffic congestions, unsightliness, unpleasantness, and the blockage of drainages are some of the problems caused by the lack of effective waste management practice in Nigeria. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.